Come on, Jack. L they'll never stop asking. Look what happened with the waffles. Go away, Toby. J J Jack, let me in. Don't worry about that, Jack. No one wants to hear your rambling anyway. A much better, clearer version of you, though. I'm here to narrate this tutorial, while other Jack does all the messy work. Shut up, Jack. No one wants to hear your horrible, ear-bleeding voice. <clears throat> now, this tutorial is here to solve all of your problems. Well, most of your problems. Okay, maybe 6% of your problems. Your hoodie problems. Wrong hoodie. There we go. This video will be on my original hoodie, as seen in some of the Six Seams videos, as well as some up-and-coming projects that I am not allowed to discuss at this time. There are a few ways to go about this task. The first and most simple is an eBay search. You won't find the exact hoodie, but you can get very close. Here are some examples of what to look for. The keywords for your search are gray, striped, hoodie. You'll most likely get an assortment of hoodies in all shades of gray as well as striped variations. Sometimes these searches can have over a thousand results, so please remember to refine your search. You can do this by size, where the item is located, and price range. I suggest selecting the men's category, as men's and women's clothing tend to be cut differently. Here I've selected some examples that I considered for this project. Initially, I went with brown stripes. However, his hoodie is actually gray. Take your time searching for the one you really like. Once you've purchased your hoodie, it is now time to modify it. Toby has a variation of three stripes. Light gray, dark gray, and a thin pale gray. Most hoodies will come with the first two, so I'll show you how to add the third stripe. This is a paint pen. It comes in many different flavors, sorry, colors, and sold at almost every craft store. You can also find them at Walmart if your local store has a fabric section. Make sure you price check them because you'll most likely need more than one. First, lay your sleeves on a flat surface. Choose which stripe you want to put the line under and begin to paint. Follow it as best as you can and try not to change the line size as you make your way around. Repeat this step under every other stripe on both sleeves. If you or someone you know owns a sewing machine, you can choose to make a new hood for your hoodie. Toby's hood is a bluish gray color and connects in the front. This style of hoodie can also be found on eBay. I actually found a similar style hoodie at Target. If you choose to attach a new hood, carefully seam rip along the edges of the original hood. When the hood is fully detached, you can use it as a pattern for your new hood. If you are taking a hood from another garment, remember to pin all around in order to make sure it fits inside the neck hole. The torso of Toby's hoodie is a solid color. Again, there are hoodies available in this style on eBay if you take some time to look. The way I originally did it, was take two shirts and cut off the sleeves. I used two so it would have a similar thickness to the hoodie material. I hemmed the sleeve holes and sewed the two necks together. The shirts already had buttons so I didn't have to worry about adding them. You can seam rip the sleeves and sew them to the shirts at this point or you can wear the shirts over the hoodie like so. Jack put on the hoodie! Jack put the hoodie on! <laughs> There you go, Toby's hoodie. You're all set to have your memories erased, stumble confusingly around the woods, and mindlessly serve a horrifying nightmare creature.
good luck. Whoa, that wasn't the end. This is the end. Or is it? Hey there, special people. Like, share, and subscribe to this awesome YouTube channel that is attempting to upload weekly just for you. That's right, you, beautiful person on the other side of the screen that I cannot see. Remember to submit all Ask Toby questions to ramiscosplay.tumblr.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.